Hello, welcome to another Lumion tutorial, guys. This is Chris Walton from C. Walton Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the forum with Lumion. So Lumion has a lot of really great things about it. Now, there's a lot of things about like the best part of Lumion is trees, or it's easing, or it's speed. Another one of those things that deserves to be on that list is its support. Lumion's forum is, has, is one of the best supported forums I've ever used. I've used a bit. I haven't used a ton, but it's it's quite amazing. Um, the response, the responses you get to questions, the detail that you get, the, the effort that's put on the other end to um, try to make sure you can solve problems or just talk about anything. I've had many, many comments or people emailing me asking me for um, be able to help out with some things. I can help out a little bit. I'm totally willing to to uh, help out if it's a really easy thing, a real simple thing that, you know, whatever my experience can easily help you guys out with. But a lot of times I've, ref I've been referring you guys to the forum because that's literally, these guys know like everything, like a thousand times more than I do. And they would actually grab, take your model, you'd send them their model, they'll look at it, they'll figure it out, and they'll, they'll test it out, they'll have you run tests and everything to support you. So. Really quite awesome. Um, the two guys are on the forum that kind of manage it are Morton and Peter. You'll get to know these guys really well as you jump into here. What's really cool, I'm not going to give out any specific details, but they're on two opposite ends of the planet. So they kind of cover like 24-7 on the forum. It's a really cool setup. Both are extremely knowledgeable and they, uh, they offer consistent answers to very, you know, regardless of the subject. Um, and they'll be happy to talk to you if you start to jump on here. So here's the forum here. I'll put a link here in the description. It's forum.lumion.com. And I'm logged in as me, C. Walton Design. Um, when you jump onto the forum, you will, they would like you to register your license from the Lumion you've purchased. And you'll get set up in there. And you can just instantly start jumping in here and asking questions. You know, taking advantage of some of the advice of other users. And so we'll kind of look at the, do a quick tour of the form right now. So usually where I come in here the most is support for Lumion. So there's simple things like license questions and reset requests. Sometimes Lumion's a floating license, so you need the internet to check it out and then internet to check it or to check it in, basically to release it, to, to pull it down and release it, put it back up in the servers. So for whatever reason, some things happen where you need to reset the license because there's just lots of scenarios that's happened to me where, say, you checked out the license and then you shut down the computer and it never actually released it and it still is not attached to the internet. So you're kind of stuck on another computer you're trying to use your license from. As long as that one can release its license, then you can pull it again on any other computer. That's what's cool about Lumion too, that floating license. But... In that case, if that ever happens, jump onto here. License requests, reset requests, they usually are a very quick turnaround and it is simply reset it so you can jump on log in another computer. So things things like that, there's a whole section that I can do that, or just anything else with licenses. Um, enterprises will, you know, bigger companies will have multiple licenses, multiple users, and so there's specific issues or questions you can ask for in here. Download and installation questions, a whole section dedicated to making sure everyone can download it correctly and everything's installed correctly before even jumping into it. Model import questions, very specifically on depending on the, the, the different software. I mean, the majority, I would say the majority of, of users are SketchUp and Revit users. There's plenty of 3ds Max users, a couple other softwares here and there. There's definitely ArchiCAD and um, but you know, say you're using our software and you have questions because it's a little different. This is this is the right kind of place to go. Say you're working with I mean, I've worked with uh, Chief Architect or something. How do you get that into Lumion? It's actually simple, but this is where you can ask questions or any other software. And general questions. This is where I usually jump into a lot. Let's jump in here and see what we're looking at right here. So a lot of these where a lot of people jump in, and you'll see a lot of questions like, how do I do this? Like, problem can't turn the view with the mouse or questions about polygon textures. Someone asks a question, and they're even adding this thing where it says, you know, waiting reply. They've done their part. 
They responded and they're waiting for more from the original poster. And then when things are completely resolved, set right here or answered, everything's pretty good. Sometimes we post something and then we figure it out ourselves. I can tell you, I don't want to promise anything, but I can tell you very quickly that we get a response in, in a lot of these times. There's always things that happen. These people on the, the forum have lives too, but man, they're pretty dang quick when it comes to, to answering questions and they'll pretty much answer anything. And if you put it in the wrong category, they'll move it or maybe these were moved into this category and keep everything nice and uh, nice and organized for all the users. Mass placement question, you know, all these things are on here. Plenty of all sorts of questions. You can jump back in here. And you could also set a new topic and start your own, just like this. It's it's a little slow right now. You can say subject help. Um model disappeared or something. And They'll jump in, you put the context. They have some rules. I would definitely pay attention in each one of these categories. Let's go jump back. So these are pinned ones, They're really important. Sometimes if you're posting things, they'll give you specific parameters. Make sure you say include this and this and this and this in the question. That's not, this one's pretty loose. It's even off topic post. So pay attention to the pinned ones. Um, they they're cool as it is. If you don't if you don't know it, they're they're fine. But that's what they kind of ask. Feedback and ideas. And you guys, everyone has feedback. People are like Dutch mountains, custom materials, glass, 360 panoramas, section section sections. Yeah, please. But this is where you add it. Ranting to me, ranting to other people, um, doesn't really help anything. Um. It, this is where you actually add it and they have a secret checklist of uh, that they turn into the actual developers owners of Lumion to really make decisions so please 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 oh please um add your suggestions into here instead of just saying them because that helps if if one person if a hundred people say i want to be able to do 360 video but only one person requests it it sounds like it's not very wanted so that's my kind of thing in there. I, I try to push for that as well if I see things in comments. Error reports if there's Lumion's just having issues or it's crashed or something is going on with the windows. This is this is where you go in there. And then this is an awesome one here. Asset sh sharing and tips. Plenty of pinned things on here. Tips on using Lumion. There's um, texture resources. If you're brand new to this, I mean, it's very daunting. I've been in this for years now, so I kind of know where it's, it's a, a lot of the basic stuff is. But if everything's pretty new to you, like where do I find good textures or where do I find models besides the SketchUp warehouse? You jump on here and they'll have all sorts of um, really great users. I mean, they've, they've kind of updated this first one here, kind of giving an idea of where to find things. Turbo Squid, CG Cheater, Evermotion for really high quality stuff. Highly recommend looking at this. People are sharing really cool objects in here. Realistic Grass by Guy, the Guy. Like, definitely take a look at that. Advanced grass texture. Add a little extra light and treat grass in there, even though it grows by itself. Anyways, that's that all comes up for this, this support in here, this whole category. Now there's some great ones in here. Latest news, you know, if the newest Lumion's come out, or there's a uh, blogs that Lumion's has come out with. You can check them out here. Quick start guides, great for for new newcomers, just be able to jump into certain specific topics. Model import guides. That's a, a whole art that you kind of get into learning how to master that there's even jobs yeah i even looked at this but you could post like wanted job and you just need a lumion guy to help out or a lead visualization artist you know there's, there's a cool place to even post that and this is the gallery is great there's a staff favorite projects gallery where they pick out some of the best ones if you really want to see what lumion's capable of look in here and then anyone else can post their finished projects in here as well and so I'm not sure who this is, but they've just posted Modern House in the Field. I mean, beautiful. Great shots. So people give their comments, they ask the questions. Um, you can, usually you put in the type of computer specs you have in there and everything. And you can even have ones you're working on unfinished and in portfolios even. This is all for registered customers. So 
that's the Lumion, the Lumion form for you guys. I I really hope you guys get to use it. To uh, if you have if you have a registered version of Lumion, I hope you can jump into the form more often. If you haven't before, set up your profile. I know sometimes you want a question right now, and there actually is someone you can call if you're in the United States. Um, And then, you know, outside of the United States, there's always someone you could also support as well. In the United States, you call Lorenzo. Um, Lorenzo Alvader. He's, I could put his contact info in there. He's kind of a support. He actually deals a lot more with licenses. But if you have questions, there is actually someone you can talk to right away. He can probably help you out or at least have to go to the forum to ask for more advanced things. He's a good friend of mine. Lorenzo's a cool guy. So all these guys in the forum. Great, awesome dudes. So... Um, yeah, so even if you jump into Lumion's website, I'll put the link in here. There's just a whole set for um, support and learning. Um, the forum. Lumion forum. So, there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys use it. Please post your requests for Lumion. Please post, you know, sh if you have awesome things you want to share, please post it on there as well. And... That covers it. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.